What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we're going to discuss a really hot topic and that is like speed sets for your farming tunes because every single time when I go live on Twitch TV I always see people ask me about speed sets and asking me if my current speed set guides are up to date etc etc. So I figured I would just try my best to explain how the the best speed sets to this date the date of this upload are working and how easily they are to achieve right now because every single speed set is based upon uh, the heart of Azeroth and then like the long strider trait the long strider trait being um uh, uh, this one right here which increases your movement speed by a certain percentage based of your highest secondary rating so heart of Azeroth and then uh, getting three items with the long strider trait is kind of like the base of every single speed set. And then there's handy things to know, like you need to have boots with an item level of 50 or below so you can enchant the boots with minor speed. That's better than having level 60 epic boots with a ton of speed on them because the enchant gives a flat 10% movement speed. But we're going to talk a bit about that. And... um. I show you some example of someone that has made a almost almost perfect speed set but it is real easy now ever since patch 9.2 so basically we have this uh guide that gaffs a viewer of mine made you can find this written speed set guide uh, like pinned in the general chat on my discord my discord is linked down below in the description there's like 13,000 members on it uh, but basically, everything is up to date in this one, but it doesn't talk about uh, the fact that you can get the plus speed items way easier now. But it does uh, tell you, like, as an intro, that you need to look out for items which has the biggest amount of critical strike speed and, if it's possible, a socket. And you want to stack crit strike on every single item because you want it to be as high as possible as it will be your highest secondary uh, stat. So it's going to scale well with the long strider trait. Now, Night Fae is the best covenant for a speed druid because it gives you soul shape, which uh, basically it just gives you an increased movement speed when you use um, when you use soul shape. I know some people are picking other covenants as well for like the, uh, the increased buff on, on food buffs and so on. It doesn't really matter that much. When it comes to races, uh, there's a lot of mixed opinions about this one. I'm just going to tell you my personal preference, which is a Night Elf. Uh, night Elves are slightly faster than most of other races because they have the, the passive elusiveness. Uh, but the main reason, or quickness is called, the main reason why you want to pick a Night Elf is simply because you will be able to Shadow Melt. Shadow Melt is so strong for farming because you're going to find yourself stuck in combat for combat bugs like constantly. So for that reason alone, Night Elf, absolute biss. Now it then further is going to want, goes on talking about like jewel crafting because of the trinket and whatnot. Uh, we're going to take a look at that later on. And when it comes to gearing up, it tells you exactly how to get an easy long strider uh, headpiece, shoulder piece, and also a chest piece. It is important, because this is a level 60 speed set, it's important to get the Oath of the Elder Druid. It gives you 14% movement speed bonus, uh, and it, it boosts your uh, feline swiftness as well. So pretty much if you guys don't know, then the uh, feline swiftness is uh, a passive that increases your movement speed by 15%. Now it gives a 75% increase on your feline swiftness. So it is extremely, extremely handy. And then the magic hand, waist, and legs, also rings for that matter, are super easy to get really good pieces of right now. That was the hard part before because you pretty much had to buy items like I have. You had to buy BOE items with plus speed on. It was very tough to do. This is a low-level speed set, by the way. But right now, you guys can uh, obtain it extremely easily. This is a viewer of mine, uh, Castle. He has a very good set. But now, ever since patch 9.2, you can, as a crafter, select the, uh, the bonuses on your items. Like you have a... Uh, these, uh, let's see, the cloak, for instance, uh, has increased speed and 
the increased ground mount speed by 10 while in Shadowlands. Doesn't really matter, but it's crafted with speed, right? And every single item is like this uh, on this set. So if we go and drag this further on, you guys can see all of these. All of these BOE items are crafted epic items, which you can get someone to craft with plus speed, and there's usually a ton of them up in the auction house. It doesn't have to be the epic versions, it can also be blue items. But it's the same thing with rings. You can get someone to craft these rings, and very importantly, like, you need to get the, this gem right here in your, uh, in one of the slots, right? Speed increased by 13% for each Shadowlands gem that you have socketed. Once you have this one, it is very important that you gem, uh, you can see it from the ruby here, that's why you should have jewel crafting, by the way. It's very important to get the straddling gems. One is 5% and one is 3%, and yes, they do stack. Besides from that, you just want to gem critical strike to uh, help with your long strider traits. Uh, besides from that, you need to get boots that are beneath level item level 50, preferably with plus speed on, and then you enchant them with minor speed increase. You enchant your cloak with minor speed increase, and you're pretty much good to go. Like, you can also uh, enchant your rings and so on with plus crits to go even faster. So, a castle, you've been slacking, man. Uh, but yeah, as I said, like, everything that I'm talking about right now is already in the written guide uh, that Gavs made. Uh, the one that we looked at right here. And it goes through all of these, uh, all of these things, right? With the boots... Uh, and but here it doesn't take into consideration that you can now craft the specific items with plus speed. So it is way easier to get a speed set. Uh, so basically, same thing with weapon, right? Like it, this guide goes through everything from enchants to gems. Like absolutely everything is a very well written guide by uh, by Gaffs. So big creds to him. Uh, the only thing that's been updated since this one is the fact that you can buy Shadowlands crafted epics that has speed on them. So that is extremely, extremely sweet. So in order to read this, if you want to make a speed set tune, make sure to click the uh, the link in the description for Discord. You can also, if you haven't already, grab the 0 to 10 million gold guide, which includes every single gold farm that I personally do in order to make multiple gold caps. And uh, right now, if you use code Dragonflight, you will get it for only $9.90. And yes, this does include every single update to come. So whenever the expansion Dragonflight comes out, I'm updating this book for free to everyone that has already bought the book. Uh, but that is pretty much it for today's video. If you've got any questions about speed set or WoW in general, leave them down below. Make sure to check out the speed guide. The speed guide will give you, like, it can easily get you to way above 200%, right? Uh, but you can go, if you min-max, you can go as high as like roughly 240%. Most of the farmers that I farm with live on stream, they have sets that's around 230%, which is fairly easy to obtain these days. Uh, but once again, that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in more videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. But until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.